picture this, a first for Colorado, as the Western Federation of Watercolor Societies settles in for its 32nd annual exhibit right here at the Arvada Center. This juried exhibit features some of the best works of artists from nine Western states. They cover every subject imaginable, a slice of life or a moment in time, the life breathed into them by the touch of a watercolorist. This is the first opportunity for Colorado to present a show like this for this longer period of time. And I think you're gonna see some great pieces of artwork. 148 of them, in fact. The exhibit runs through November 11th in the lower gallery of the Arvada Center, the perfect place to be admired. The lower gallery, which is almost a, like a Smithsonian style gallery, is a great space, uh, large open rooms. Uh, you can stand back from the artwork. The lighting is great. And there's a lot of traffic at this, at this center, which is great for us. Arvada artist Gene Youngman is the exhibit manager and president of the Colorado Watercolor Society. He's also a retired Jeffco Schools art teacher who's been affiliated one way or another with the Arvada Center since it opened 30 years ago. One of his own works made the show. When I first saw the image of the old truck, uh, I would see it every morning on our way to church. And I told my wife, I said, I've got to paint that truck sometime. And one October evening, when the glowing moonlight hit it just right, seemed like just the right time to do the painting. So the title is in full moonlight, uh, which gives that sense that they're still dark, but there's still enough light that you can see the atmosphere. Jean also had the vision for what bringing the 32nd annual exhibit of the Western Federation of Watercolor Societies could do for Colorado. He worked seven years at landing this prestigious show here and was thrilled to find a partner in the Arvada Center. Artwork began arriving in May, in time to be identically framed by a local company. Then Arvada Center's Colin Parson went to work designing the overall gallery exhibit. Okay, it's 260. 12 and a quarter. 21 and 3 eighths. Here's where art meets science. Perfect math makes for perfectly hung artwork. 32 and a half. Divided by 2 plus 56 minus 8. The goal? To get the exact same space between each frame and get each frame centered at 56 inches high on the wall. You're fed up. With 148 pieces, the puzzle takes time, but makes for a beautiful exhibit when all is said and done. Having pieces identically framed for a juried show helps artwork compete on an equal footing. And though the works reveal unique styles and subjects, the artists share a passion for the watercolor medium. I like to do the uh, landscapes with these uh, old structures, especially around uh, rural Colorado and America, I guess. I just love the light airiness of watercolor and the delicacy of watercolor. I'm really thrilled to be in this prestigious show. The Western Federation is a big show to all of us here. It's tremendous to be able to have a, a juror accept my work and to, to be in a show with paintings of this level, this caliber of quality paintings. John Braysomley's Congos 4 features delicate strokes of light and dark. But getting into a juried show is no stroke of luck. Artists usually submit several entries and compete against hundreds of other artists. A judge in this case, internationally known artist John Solomon of Minnesota then decides who gets in. Not always do you get into every show. And as artists, we have to realize that you're going to get rejected probably as many times as you get in. Solomon reviewed more than a thousand entries sent to him as digital images or slides months prior to the show to select the 148 for the show. Then just days before it opened in June, Solomon stood before all the watercolors now identically framed and hung, to make his choices for the top entries. 
looking at it in a slide really kind of gives you a false sense of the size and proportion of the artwork. But when it's framed and hanging on the wall and in the gallery space, it gets a better understanding of what the artist has created. Solomon's choice for best of show, Railroad Man by Stan Goody of California. From now till November 11th, visitors have a chance to feast their eyes on all the works of this unique exhibit, now on display in the Arvada Center's lower gallery.